Okay, so I've been dealing with this issue in my music production workflow for a long time, and I finally solved it using Vienna Ensemble Pro. So I wanted to <laughs> just tell you all what's been going on and how I fixed it. So uh, when I compose music and when I want to use string parts, my favorite string uh, virtual instrument is called uh, Tokyo Scoring Strings made by Impact Soundworks. It is awesome. Um, the look ahead feature right here is one of my favorite features in any plugin ever because I use MIDI that comes right out of Sibelius and it works super well together. So the thing, the, the issue I was having was that um, uh, Tokyo Scoring Strings takes up a lot of, it takes up a lot of RAM and on my computer. Right there it says 1.34 gigabytes and that's just for, that's just for violin one. So there's also going to be violin two, viola, cello, bass, so multiply that by approximately five and you're up to like, what is that, seven-ish seven -ish gigs of RAM just from this. Now this is what's using called the Anima Mix that was just released in uh, Tokyo Scoring Strings 2, which means that um, it's sort of like a preset or a pre-done mix. So I only have one channel available in the mic mixer. So this mix sounds pretty decent. I mean, I'm, I'll play like a little tiny bit on the keyboard. Like... And it sounds good, but I wanted to I wanted to tweak it a little bit more. My thought was that it was just a little bit too sort of fluffy and not direct enough, so I really wanted to be able to use the close mics. So um, to be able to do that, they have a separate mic mixer plugin you can get, but that plugin, it's to load the close mics and the um, and also like a deca tree or a side microphone, um, it takes up a lot more RAM than my MacBook has. I'm mainly using this MacBook um, for most of my music production, and it only has 16 gigs of RAM, so like I literally couldn't load it. And that's where this guy comes in. So this is an extra um, Windows gaming PC. I'm on a Mac on this one. Uh, a Windows gaming PC that I bought like a couple of years ago, just mainly just to play games, um, but it's just been here and I mainly use it for, for games, but I was thinking, well, what if I, can I use that? For everything, can I use that um, to load my samples? And that's where Vienna Ensemble Pro comes in. So if you haven't heard of Vienna Ensemble Pro, the way it works is it basically it basically treats an extra computer as an outboard synthesizer. So here's how it works. I have um, Ethernet connected on this hub. Ethernet going out of there into this network switcher down here which connects to the PC. So um, both of these PCs are connected into the network via, um, via ethernet and are wired into each other. So um, I have the samples uh, downloaded on that computer. They're loaded into the Vienna Ensemble Pro server, which is just an application that runs on the computer. Um, and I'm, act I'm controlling that computer over um, LAN with TeamViewer. So this screen you're seeing right here is actually my Windows PC, like you can see the, the start button and stuff. Um, so I can control this and uh, you can see, um, you know, TSS violin, violin two, viola, um, cello, all this stuff is loaded. Um, and currently I have uh, 25, this, this alone is taking up 25 gigs of RAM on the computer, approximately 25. And if you look at each individual instrument, for example, the contrabass, uh, you'll see that in the mixer section, I have the close and the side mics loaded. Um, which almost doubles the sample size for each instrument needed. So that's at 2.6 uh, gigabytes of RAM, 2.48 for the uh, the cellos, um, 2.3, and, and, and so on. So there's a lot of stuff um, currently being loaded on RAM that I'd never be able to do on this computer. And on the top of that, it's running all the other stuff from my session, like the, the DAW itself, um, you know, the DAW itself, uh, other plugins, things like that. So by doing this, basically the way it works is I have this MIDI channel here um, on the, the Strings VE Pro, and if I enable Violin 1, um, it sends MIDI messages, basically as if I was playing a plugin on this computer, but that MIDI data is going in over the network into this computer, which is generating the audio, and then it sends it back over to here to the computer. So, and it plays, you know, I, I thought there might be a little bit more latency and maybe there's like a millisecond or two more, but over, overall it feels really good. And I have been able to get that close mic sound. 
Um, not sure how well you can hear it on the, the cell phone video here, but here's the anima. And then here's the close mix. So I have that for all the different strings here, and uh, it's uh, been a really big improvement. I just, I just figured out how to do it. I just uh, read it out of track using it, and so I'm looking forward to using this setup in more songs. It's really exciting. Um, thank you for coming to my VE Pro um, Reaper Ram Windows Mac nerd TED Talk. <laughs>